Hey, big bangers! This is Jorge from the Big Band Podcast. I am here with Adrian. Um, so today we're going to be discussing uh, an interesting. Well, I found this one interesting. An interesting article last week on Aeon Magazine. So basically, it's what's so great about innovation. Basically, there's a couple of scholars who are arguing that we need to focus more on maintaining than on creating, <laughs> and they. <laughs> So I was, I was, I know this one got a lot of clicks all over the place, and uh, I was, I was thinking of writing a blog post about it, but I said, you know, let's just discuss it on the on the podcast and, and go with it. So uh, basically, their argument is that that if we overvalue innovation, it hurts society. <laughs> now their point of view is that innovation is just just about technology, and we talked about this on two previous episodes actually the last two basically we talked about how technology um the i mean there's there's pros and cons to creation <laughs> um rarely does anybody think about the intended consequences and rarely is it very clear when you're starting something what those intended consequences unintended consequences are going to be mm -hmm. um and economists scholars like these guys love to put everything in data <laughs> and draw it out and make sure that whatever is going to be created is actually going to deliver some productivity. So <laughs> my whole take on this is that um, I get where they're coming from, but at the same time, um, we have to, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a balance. It's a balancing act. Uh, I, I do agree that there is, over the last five, ten years, there's been this huge, huge focus on, on the word innovation. Um, I don't think it's bad. I think it's, 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 it's become bad just because now everything that everybody puts out there is considered, you know, yeah. And that's stupid. <laughs> Most of this crap, as we mentioned before, um, what I do, what I do not, you know, what I don't agree with is that we need to focus more, more on maintenance. What is maintenance? It's doing more of the same. <laughs> Basically keep doing more of what already works um, because that keeps people in jobs. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's, um, that's what everybody ideally would want, but I don't think us as humans are wired, or some of us, especially the ones who are um, like us, you know, we're misfits, we don't, we don't agree with the status quo, <laughs> we don't just roll with the dice. Uh, we have opinions, and I don't think that's, you know, we are these guys' enemies <laughs> at this point. You know, like I said, I understand and I, I totally agree with with um, the point that a lot of stuff is coming out and doesn't really help the world. <laughs> it's just a bunch of crap. But I think that's more of a, um, like a phase. Um, yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, well, regarding uh, it's just a faith thing, I think it's kind of like a natural selection for people who want to innovate. A lot of people yeah. are going to be like, I want to innovate. What? I don't know. I'm just going to start innovating things. And they're going to start like creating new things. And if it's crap and their business doesn't pick up, then it wasn't meant to be. It's You're, you're like weeding that out, you're, like weeding that out. And, and I think it needs to happen. And about the maintenance um uh i actually i mean i don't want to say i agree i understand it because if if someone innovates uh let's say a product they they, they grab a product that's good and they innovate they make it better someone has to create that someone has to manufacture that and from the point where they innovate that product to the when they innovate either that product again or something else, that product needs needs to go out and needs to be and, and needs to be maintenance. So I mean, did you play Biochalk, the first one? Long time. Long time ago. That that practically happens. Everyone Rapture is a place where everyone can be creative. It's full of geniuses and all that stuff. And it goes down because no one wants to do the, the, the dirty things, the, the, the maintenance things. Yeah. So uh, society without maintenance, I think, would go down. 
hard. Yeah. I mean, we also have to to understand that um, anybody who comes up with you know ideas like an article like this one is is either biased towards something or they are reacting to something. Um, technology, most people react to technology the wrong way as a threat. Why? Because it's going to displace like the, the whole conversation about artificial intelligence if robots are going to replace us. People's are, people are don't, either don't believe it, they're skeptical about it, or they're up in their arms right now. <laughs> right? And it's going to happen. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, not very soon, but it's going to happen. And it's because they're, they're afraid that... We just can't stop ourselves from not trying. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. And so when it, anytime there's a threat, you know, these types of things are going to come out. Some people are, are going to, you know, aim towards the side of maintaining <laughs> the status quo. Um, and, and, and that's how it's going to be. Um, the other problem that I think it creates, and I, I dealt with this just this week, and I'm, I'm going to use this as, as an example... Um, I mean, I deal with this every day, but <laughs> this week is what, I'm just going to use that example yeah. as, to point to put put that forward because it's it's is it this is what we go through um, when we want to push something forward when we want to um, do something better. Um, so what is it? So I've recently become the the president of the innovation cluster in Baja California. So that's I, that meant I've, I've I've gone to a lot of meetings over the last two weeks. It meant I've been introduced to a bunch of people, um, handed out, or people have and handed out their business cards to me. Um, and to those listening, I don't do this often. <laughs> I'm not one of those guys who goes to a lot of meetings. I pick my meetings. <laughs> um, I pick my time. And right now, my time is, you know, has been towards that specific project. And uh, so basically, what we're doing is we are trying to you know, to, to get introductions to people and, and whatnot, right? So if somebody wants to, uh, you know, introduce me to, to help them do something with strategy or innovation work, you know, that's, that's something that could potentially go down. So what happened this week? Um, so I met with somebody from public relations, <laughs> a publicist, and my experience with publicists is that they only focus on what they do. <laughs> they are not, they're either very digital or they're completely non-existent digital and this particular one is very well known here in the city but she is non-technical right so immediately when you have an introduction you, you start talking about what you do because that's what they ask you she's one of those persons that she's like you gotta tell her like in three things what would you do and if it doesn't sound like something she's heard before she's not gonna pay attention <laughs> right um, so what happens is that I use a friend to introduce me because he's a little more, I don't know, I don't want to say a little, um, I don't know, he's, he's just a little more normal than I am <laughs> because I get crazy when people start asking me stuff. So I just go on and on and, and you know, talk about, you know, interesting stuff. That's what I like to do. I mean, why, why talk about maintenance stuff? <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. not really interesting, <laughs> but that's what these people do, right? They their world is all about maintaining. Um, that's what they, that's where they live. And for us innovators, maintenance does not come into equation. We 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 kill that. <laughs> We're looking at ways of eliminating that to make it better to not have to do, go through that. So what happens is that this person is, I mean, she's listening to me, but I I can tell right away that nothing that I'm telling her is making any damn sense. So why am I saying this? <laughs> Because this is the world we live in, in a world where more maintenance happens than innovation happens. You know, because the, the guys are writing this article, most likely they are have some contact or live in a city where, um, you know, they're connected to Silicon Valley, to, to, to all these conversations. For, for people like you and me, who live in freaking Tijuana, <laughs> uh, all the way across the border, where it's like, you know, there's more maintenance than innovation and, and everything's going, you know, people like us are kind of look like aliens here. Um, this is our world. <laughs> you know, we just do not speak the same language. <laughs> we are looked at as threats. <laughs> or crazy. So, or in opportunities are close to us because we are, we are seen as not normal, as breaking their maintenance, as breaking their models. And when they talk about innovation, because when I said, oh, he, or my buddy said, oh, he's the president of the innovation cluster, blah, 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 that's when her eyes lit up. And started, that's when it started making sense. And I'm like, 
that's not even the most interesting thing I've ever done. <laughs> and you're paying attention to that shit? <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. And that's a problem. That's a big problem. Because, in essence, if we focus too much on maintenance, <laughs> we might as well shoot ourselves. <laughs> We're not going to progress to anything. <laughs> We're all just speaking the same language. We're doing the same things. Uh, we might as well just become robots ourselves. So, <laughs> but that's, that's the problem, right? That's one of the key problems. And they are not going to mention this because they're freaking scholars. <laughs> Their job is just to study things and just point out stuff and read it, write it down. <laughs> but I like, doubt they put their hands down and get shit, try to get shit done. Real, real interesting shit done <laughs> out here in the real world. <laughs> to have any, any point of view as to what, you know, what actually happens. Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's kind of like what happened this week to me. <laughs> And, and I was telling, I, it's funny, funny, because I was telling my buddy right after all these things happened, I said, you see how stupid this is? I didn't point out the article to him, but I told him, you see how stupid this is? Because this is my world. When I have contact with people who are not from, who are just maintainers or, you know, status quo people. This is what happens. They do not make an effort to ask questions of what would you do. Specifically, they have no curiosity whatsoever. It has to say something... Or you have to say something that they've seen before, talked about before. You know, because it's interesting. When I laid out my portfolio of previous projects, she only focused on the ones that are local. <laughs> Yet I have global experience. <laughs> so that wasn't surprising to me. But when I, when I noticed that, I was like, this is unfreaking unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> small world, small mindedness. Anything that comes out of looks like a freaking alien is like a freaking threat. Or they, they just don't fucking... Pay attention to it. Care, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And I told my buddy, I said, listen, I don't want to deal with her. And I don't want to deal with people like this. You are, you are my bridge. <laughs> if you want to act like my publicist, that's great. Because I just do not, I mean, I totally get what's going on. But I have no, I have no patience for this. <laughs> I just do have no patience for this. And for people like this who are small minded. I mean, we're talking about doing interesting stuff. And they want to go back to the you know, to the, to the, to the, the basics. To, to the, uh, yeah, to the stuff that they've always done. And I think that's completely stupid. Um, but anyway, that's, that's the real, a real world problem that this article does not talk about. <laughs> this is not what they talk about, obviously, because they don't do shit. <laughs> the, the same thing happened to me when I came back from Los Angeles. After working with a lot of artists, no, nobody cares. It's like, what have you done, done here? Not what you did out there. I don't care about that. You might be lying. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's it, ridiculous. It, yeah. I thought I was going to be like, oh, it's, I'm going to be able to get a, a job. Uh, I'm going to be able to get a lot of freelance jobs it's with this curriculum. Bro. But nope, no one. No, n not even the slightest interest. And I was like, how I, is this possible? I, 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 wrote about, I wrote a blog post about this last week. It's called... If you don't value brilliance, you don't value innovation. So what was I what was I saying there? I was saying that, and this is particular to a project that I just a gig that I didn't get. Why? Because they went when a lower priced uh, offer, but also with someone or a team of so called developers with certifications to develop. And I was, dude, did you see my freaking portfolio? Did you see my rest of my team's portfolio? We have real world global experience. We've launched stuff <laughs> to the world that's actually been caught on. You know, interesting stuff, not just, you know, a logo here or some website over there <laughs> or some app over here. I mean, actual stuff. And I'm thinking this is ridiculous um, <laughs> because they were talking about when I would talk to them, they were like, no, we want to take the next step. We want to really go next level. So I said, OK, so you're talking to the right person. <laughs> Right, but what do we do? They go to a because I, I, I had I had uh you know eyes in there who were telling me what was going on. So that's what I'm saying. This I know I know exactly what happened, um, and that's the problem. You know they want to see somebody who looks or in, in our case, this is what I told a buddy of mine. I said they they wanted somebody who was wearing a freaking hat just like them, a charro thing, on and you know the you know the charro thing. You know, somebody who looks like a, freaking, like a freaking Mexican. That's what they're looking for. And talks like them and thinks like them. And, and, and you know, charges low, low like, like, like Mexicans do. <laughs> right? Yeah. 
people who don't um, don't brag, they just sell. They sell and sell and sell and try to sell bullshit, <laughs> but they don't actually make a damn impact or never had an impact. And that's what I meant with talent and brilliance because they, they just don't know how to identify it, right? And this is one of the problems that goes with living in a world where maintenance, maintainers are looked upon as the ones who <laughs> should, should, you know, what does it say here? Maintainers, not innovators, make the world turn. Well, yes, they maintain it. But change the world doesn't happen. <laughs> it doesn't happen that way. And, you know, I know I'm going to get in trouble by saying this, but I know that maintainers are, you know, support people, uh, customer service people, uh, people who mop floors, people who, uh, you know, all do all these types of tasks. And unfortunately, that's the world we live in. Uh, I'm not saying they should disappear because they're going to be left without jobs, but... Um, that's that's a whole other challenge that we have to take care take care of, and it's a challenge that we talked about before in you know previous episodes, such as the um, what if we live in a world where <laughs> the world finds you or the work finds you. I'm sorry, and uh, you know a bunch of other ones regarding to education, economics, and whatnot. So, I mean, this is insane, man. <laughs> I mean, I think that by saying you know maintainers are, are the ones who turn the, make the world turn, we are saying that. We want to continue being on a path to not setting, you know, reaching our full potential. Uh, you know, somebody who mops the floor, is that reaching your full potential? <laughs> I think it's, it's like a clock. Maintainers are the gears, and they just keep the clock going round and yeah. round and round. But that clock will never do anything that's not tell the time. Yeah. I mean, and this is like, it's the same thing as when you, t when you work inside, a, uh, you know, traditional managed organization because there's the core business and then there's the you know the new the new stuff so you gotta be focusing on both not just focus on the core in mexico it's very very uncommon to hear that a business experiments with the towards the future very very uncommon it doesn't doesn't it's not normal I think in mexico it's just more about just maintenance maintenance yeah maintenance, i'm gonna, I'm gonna maintenance. pay you to do a repetitive job that's it. I mean, not, even even with uh, something like marketing that you could be creative or or try something new or do something extra, they just want you to do the same thing that everyone else is doing. Yeah. And I mean, they just want to sell, 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 sell. That's it. More money, more money. That's it. Yeah. So unfortunately, that's, you know, that's, <laughs> that's the status quo. <laughs> yeah. That is the status quo. And... Um, you know, that's, I mean, that's as much as I have to say about that because it's, it's, it's just ridiculous, man. Um, it's just ridiculous. And, um, I mean, they, I mean, this, this freaking article is, is, is not, um, it's not really posing an interesting, interesting questions. It's more like kind of like validating what already happens. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean that, but that's 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 bottom line, man. I mean, but it does say that there's um, just like when you say "I love you" a lot, it loses its meaning. Yeah, I mean, and and I agree with that. I mean, we use the word too much, and a lot of people don't really know what it means. Yeah, they don't even. They, don't they, they think it's just like uh, innovations, less just like changing your logo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. That's it. And some people, most people, think it's that. It's that. <laughs> I yeah, mean, and it's, reinventing. And it, yeah, it's not that. Um, um, I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, I'm, so I'm, I'm working with, with a group, local group here, who uh, I got invited to uh, to help them or to participate in a, you know, to create an event where uh, we unfuck, unfuck people. <laughs> um, right? You unfuck people. So, so and that's, you know, when, when we were talking about this, the initial meetings were, when they were talking about kind of like where to take this, I said, well, it's, it's basically we're talking about on fucking people. And one of the guys was like, yes, yes, that's what it's about. But when I said that, the other guys were like, like, whoa, are we allowed to say that? It's kind of like, like, wow, like he just put it out there. He didn't care. I'm like, yeah, that's what that's really what it is. I mean, we're talking about people, you know, being set in their ways, being, you know, kind of like acting like robots. You know, it's like it's unfucking them. <laughs> It's an unfuck yourself conference, <laughs> right? 
yeah. seminar, forum, whatever the hell you want to call it. And uh, <laughs> it's very funny because it was like, like, like it's, it's taking a little, you know, step by step until these people kind of like understand where I'm coming from. They understand that I'm, m my intentions are positive, <laughs> right? But by talking this way and saying, you know, describing people as like kind of like robots set in their ways, in essence, I'm telling them you are setting your ways also, right? Because you are just talk, giving, you know, pointing out, you know, giving out ideas that pretty much are like what already is out there. You're not trying to better that. What I'm trying to do is, you know, make a leap from that. You know, go next level. Yeah, and, everyone tries to replicate. Right. Success. And they talk about innovation also, but me being there, it's kind of like, okay, we we're not allowed to say that freaking word unless it's re <laughs> we're really really being bold. Right. Yeah. So that's what I that I you I really really don't use, again to the people listening, I although I'm known in as innovation insurgent, I rarely use the damn word, you know, when I'm talking to somebody. What I talk about is bold, stuff. That's that's really what my language is about. It's not, I don't really really you know use the word too much, if if any, uh, because for the same reason people will not understand it, but people will will understand bold words and bold actions. <laughs> And that's that's what it's about, but um, I don't know, man. You got anything else you want to say about it? Hmm. Well, nothing that comes to mind. I mean, because this is kind of like something we've already talked about. Yeah. No, we have. We have In previous episodes, the last two. Yeah, tons of time, and I mean, and and every like every way you could go with this, I think we covered that too on other podcasts. Yeah, you know, the, I think the the prop the 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 way this topic should be framed is, and I've already I think I wrote up no I did wrote about this about a month or, or ago or so, is are all problems worth fixing? <laughs> that's oh, yeah. I think I think that's that's really how this should be framed. I don't think it should be saying we need to talk about less of, about innovation and be more maintainers. I think is. Should, what problems should we focus on <laughs> instead of trying to innovate even the, the dumbest thing like uh, taking pictures, <laughs> selfie stuff. I mean, really, that's who needs a selfie stick, really. <laughs> but I think someone with a business mindset yeah. is going to disagree with you. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it, I get it. But that's, I think that's where we should focus this discussion at as opposed to just saying um, let's, let's just obsess about innovation and, and do more, more of what we already do, what already works. Right, yeah. because you know, da, da 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 da, and they they have all these reports and all these studies saying that you know technology doesn't really make us more productive or whatnot. Well, no, it's not going to make us productive because we've never had this access to so much information in the past. So what's going to happen? We're taking we're we're identifying new behaviors. New people are acting more weird than before. <laughs> you know, it's the truth, man. <laughs> people are weird. The and, question is that people are acting more weird than before, or we have access to them now, and they've always been this way. And they've always been this way, and they're acting weird too. <laughs> Actually, we, we have a we, we have an upcoming upcoming episode on on how weird people are acting. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, <laughs> yeah. That, but that's that's what I have. Well, that's what I think. I mean, I think we're focusing on the on the wrong on the wrong things, and you know, in terms of what we're trying to innovate and. and <laughs> And let's focus more on the stuff that actually matters. <laughs> Less about, you know, stupid stuff that... Uh, the selfish stick. I mean, really. <laughs> it was funny because I think it was 2009 when it was uh, an old Asian lady. Take, someone took a picture of an old Asian lady using a selfie stick. But mm -hmm. I think that selfie stick, uh, I think she created it. Um, for her, or, or I don't know if in Asia or wherever she's from, they already had those. But it's funny because uh, I saw that picture again, like about a few months ago, and it said, "We laughed at her when this first appeared, and now everyone has one." But, but see, that's more of a a culture, pop culture stuff, because the selfie started, and then obviously somebody's gonna create ways to 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 enhance the selfie shit, right? 
And, I, I, and I, then I that's that happened. Actually, have no use for a selfie stick. No, I we mean, don't. Wh why? We n none of us do. <laughs> no, I mean, in <coughs> olden times, you just ask someone to to take a picture for you, and now you have this because of the selfie stick. I mean, it's it's and making us better. No, no. It's making you know us what? The I think it's 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 fucking up photography itself just because people take more selfies. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's just, it's stupid. I mean, I, I get people wanting to take a picture like that, but if all your pictures are selfies, <laughs> you, I mean, seriously, <laughs> seriously. Yeah. It's I a, mean, it's, it's, unless you're a freaking supermodel, I want to look at your selfies, but, <laughs> but it's, if you're not, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> and they should be good pictures too, not crappy pictures. Yeah, crappy pictures. And I, the other day I was thinking about, you have, before you had the frontal camera, you that th th you had the back camera, and yep. that camera gave rise to the famous bathroom pic. <laughs> I just thought of a, about it right now. I mean, before the selfie, it was the famous bathroom pic because you didn't have a a, a mirror anywhere else, or the closest the, the sure thing was having a mirror in the bathroom. Yeah. So everyone started doing the, the, that one, and then someone said, "You know what? Let's make it easier for them." Let's put a camera in the front. <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's, <laughs> it's, 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 but yeah, I mean, this is, I think that's, that's where, again, I think we should focus the discussion somewhere else, not on, you know, these dumb, if, if they, if what they're arguing against is dumb, dumb inventions, then that's the wrong place to focus on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I definitely agree that we, that's not innovation. That's not innovation. But anyway. Um, so what do you guys think? Um, should we obsess about innovation? Or sh I mean, should we keep obsessing about it? Or should we not obsess about it? Um, what's, what's the right way to think about this? What do you guys think? I mean, because we, we've, uh, I think we, we've already gone through this, you know, I, this is our 31st episode. Holy shit. 31st episode. And we've, I think we covered this, this topic pretty widely already. And it's gonna, we're going to keep covering it, by the way, because this is nonstop. People are weird again. So, you know, <laughs> let us know what you think. And uh, we have some interesting episodes coming up focused on, you know, specifically some of the things we talked about right at the end. You know, how people are acting weird. <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, see you soon.